contact weld should be located at the left end for a right-handed welder. Be sure that the joint is centered on the space between the shim plates. An additional small plate can be placed at the end of the joint to prevent air from oxidizing the root during welding. Position the torch with a 90 degree work angle and a 15 to 20 degree push travel angle. Position the filler rod over the axis of the joint and raise it to an angle of 20 degrees. Start the arc and move at an even rate. Hold the filler rod stationary on the center line of the joint to produce a weld face about one electro diameter wide. At the end of the weld, hold the torch in position over the puddle to protect it from oxidation. A properly run bead will be copper colored on the face and should fully penetrate the joint. The next part of this job practice is to weld with pulsation. Now this means that the current will be automatically varied between a high and a low value as explained in topic 12. Set the machine to pulsation on. Amperage setting 60. Percent welding current 33. High pulse time four or five tenths of a second. Low pulse time, four. Slight variations in the pulsed current settings may be necessary depending on the joint fit up and other welding conditions. For this exercise, assemble and position a workpiece in the same manner as the first part of the job practice. Again, use a 90 degree work angle and a 15 to 20 degree push travel angle. Hold the filler rod over the axis of the joint at a 20 degree angle. Be sure to maintain this angle for the entire length of the joint. Start the arc. When you see the arc become dim, move the electrode to the front edge of the puddle and hold it there while the arc is bright. As the arc becomes dim again, move the electrode to the front edge of the puddle. Keep repeating this step motion as you weld the entire joint. The finished weld will have a copper color, will be about one electro diameter wide, and should look like a row of overlapping spots. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.